Ladies and gentlemen, when the taste tour promises, the taste tour delivers. We're at the Wisdom Path. This is part of the uh, Polen Monastery and Big Buddha or Tian Tan Buddha uh, Park here in, on Len Tao Island in Hong Kong. Now, we promised yesterday that we were going to do something, and this is that something, something I have never seen. The King Robert II. blended, King Robert II, blended Scotch whiskey. Distilled, blended, and bottled in Scotland. 43% alcohol, it says. Has a little description that I will read off later. Do you want me to start with this one since you're a scaredy cat? Yeah. All right, well then you're gonna have to take the camera. Get your fingers off the lens. I don't know. All right, so we got a Coca-Cola here, just in case we need it. But the King Robert blended scotch. It smells like a scotch, it smells peaty and malty. For super cheap shit, this is actually pretty good. Good to know. It's definitely peaty. It's 43% alcohol, super cheap. It's burny, it burns. The shit's not bad though, honestly. Huh, I'm very curious, I'm very kind of dumbfounded by that because that was really cheap. It was like for this bottle. It was like ten bucks. It was like ten bucks for this bottle. Now to put that into perspective, Hong Kong prices, a, a decent bottle of that size would be twenty, twenty-five probably. So this is, would be like bottom shelf stuff. It's burny, but I'm pleasantly surprised. It's got a kind of sweet maltiness, but it's very, it's it's definitely peaty, and I like pe the peat flavor. I don't like it when it's over the top, but I do like it. So I'll let Tibbetts try it and see what she thinks. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm. What's wrong with it? That's really, it's really burning. It's this. It's is it the peat that you don't like the flavor I don't of the like peat? The peat. Okay. No, I don't like that. You don't like the peaty flavor. I don't like the peat. No. Oh God. No. Well, I, I'll go back over there in a second and sum this up. But I wanted to give you this view real quick. It's a uh, really nice place. I'm not sure, so sure you're supposed to do taste tours here, but hell. We're doing them. Wisdom path just up ahead there. So, to summarize, let's look at this balanced optical steady shot in motion. Did you try it with Coke or no? Uh, no. No? You don't think you'd like it? Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. All right, I'm giving you this and I'm gonna take the final word. Okay. Okay, the King Robert the second blended Scotch whiskey. You know, honestly, it's it's harsh, but price considered, I think I'd give it like an eight. I don't see what your problem with it is. I'm, I'm not a fan of the. Uh... Let's see. I really don't see what your problem with this is. Okay, let me try that one then. I mean, it's a little burnt. What are you doing? Giving you the camera. Okay. We gotta wrap this up sometime today, you know. Okay, there it's not bad. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I think it's pretty good. I'd give it like an eight. It's for the price, it's really not bad. I'm very surprised. Okay, with the Coke, I'll give it like a seven. I'm very pleasantly surprised. King Robert II blended scotch whiskey. We've also got a gin from them. So here is the description. This unique blend contains only the finest single malt and green scotch whiskeys, long aged in oak casks for many years before being blended and bottled in Scotland. You can read the rest, 43% alcohol. Thanks for joining us. What do you say to joining us again? Do it. Good, I agree, do it. We'll be back.